Guys, because you asked for it, we're going to open the section of pimping your desk along with the wisdom of the boss lady because she doesn't like boring desks. Let's see how this looks. Did you sing? Well, then stay until the end of the video to tune your Windows 11 to the maximum level. Right, boss lady? Come on, out with the boring desks. Very well, you loved it, right? Well, let's do it with the home version. That's right, this section is going to be called pimping the desk, okay? With the help of the owl. Let's go ahead and click accept here. You've already noticed that, Bill, I'm using. Therefore, if it works with Windows Home, it will work with different versions. Pro, Enterprise, Education, SL, whichever you want. Let's click accept, and the first thing we're going to do is go to our browser and search for the Black Eagle. That dark eagle that we love so much for those of us who customize and understand how to really give a good style to the PC. Let's go directly to put it here in the search engine. Something called WinHack, which I've mentioned in different videos where we do this type of theme. We click here to download. We go to the folder where it was downloaded. I'll close the browser now and we'll install it. I'm going to right click run as administrator. We say yes, minimize, accept, and click next, install, install. Very well, click here on finish so that the tool runs automatically. Very well, once the tool runs, it's already in Spanish. If it doesn't show in Spanish for you, you can go to settings and change the language. All right, very well. Being on the start, we are going to click here on explore. And here we are going to place our first move. We are going to apply the so-called tax uh, high and icon sign. First, we are going to give that style to the taskbar. We click here on details and then on install. Accept. Once installed, you go directly to settings and we are going to adjust a few small parameters, okay? Here we are going to set it to 27. If my numeric keypad works, down here we will set it to 56. And further down, here you will set it to 45. Click on Save Settings. You saw that your taskbar became larger. Okay, let's move on to the next mode. You click on Explore. And we are going to delete this. And you are going to paste the next mode. I am leaving the modes down here in the video description. Exactly the names so you can copy and paste them into your WinHat. Click here on Details. And we click on Install. Accept. It's done. Again, we go to settings and adjust a few small parameters. Well, specifically just one. This one here says 160. Let's say it should only be 100. And we are going to save the settings. You saw what happened. Part of what constitutes our pinned icons on the taskbar was modified, as well as the folders we have open. We go back to explore and now we move on to the next mode. We delete it. And you just, you know, copy paste. Let's go here in details. Now we are going to look at the this clock. Everything we have here on our taskbar, we are also going to customize it to make it really, really nice. Superman. All right, let's go here and click on install. Accept. Once installed, you will go to advanced mode and there we will set up our first mode. I will leave these modes for you in a comment line or in our Discord group with other bonuses. That's why it's very important to follow us in the WhatsApp group, but especially in the Discord group where you will find a lot of documentation. Very well, let's put it there. I'm going to go here to downloads. There will be a little folder that says pimping the desktop. And we go to the one that says clock. Obviously, two clicks. And we are going to select everything we have here. You select it. Control C. We close, close, minimize, and paste. We click on save. And once we clicked on save, we see that part of the aesthetics of our blog has already been modified. It has more rounded windows, and even the notification center is separated by a small line on the side. Okay, 
Very well. Now, let's move on to the next mode, Explore. And you are going to paste. The Windows 11 Notification Center, which is the part up here, the one with the bell icon. We go here. To Details, Install, and Accept. Ready, we have it now. We go directly to where, to what is considered advanced. We delete what we have here in the MOD configuration and we are going to set it to its proper configuration, which is the notification one. Remember, Control plus E, Control C or right click, copy. We minimize and paste and save. We see the effects have already joined. Oh la la, but what? Wow, you saw it, but beautiful guys. Something well, very well done. We delete this. We delete this mode. We are going to paste. We are going to click here on details. And like every desktop makeover, we are not going to have this horrendous start button, which, well, is conventional in all windows. We are going to give it a unique and different style. Very well. We are going to click on install and accept. Once finished installing, you know, you go to the settings section. We delete the mode that it currently has by default and we are going to set the new mode. We close. This one, which we had opened earlier, we go here to start menu. We select, you know, directly with the combinations, keys, or select everything with control plus. And then, well, here we also click on copy. We close this, minimize, and paste it here to the right eclipse. Paste or control V save. It's almost done. It's so easy, Victor. Let's first see how nice and it's already taking shape. Gentlemen, it's taking shape very well. We go here to the file explorer and let's directly set the um, last mode it will give. Well, the stylish part to our desktop. Good. Windows 11 taskbar is this one. And we click on install. We accept. Done, we go to advanced. Immediately you already know it. We go here to the last style, the last mode. We are going to select everything and then copy it. We close, minimize, and delete and paste. We save. Oh, but it's done, guys. Let's close. I'm going to leave this here on our desktop. And look how nice, how nice it looks. Let's see. Yes. Okay, but Victor, it doesn't look the same. Don't lie to me. Where is that part? Critical of the file explorer. I want to see it. Ah, it's the bonus. Okay, let's open your browser again. And you're going to go to a GitHub repository that I'll also leave in the pinned section or, you know, in the pure Discord documentation. And really thank the good author. Here I leave you. His repository, Explore Blur, Mica, which gives us all the splendor to have the blue design in our explorer. Don't worry. It's okay. It doesn't harm. I'm going to right click here. I'm going to click on extract. Extract. You have it. The important one is this. So I'm going to right click, cut it and take it to the local disk C at the root where we won't mess with it. We just double click, close it. And you go directly to the one that says register. We right click. And we're going to run it with administrator privileges, more information. We choose to run it anyway. We say yes. We accept. Let's see, let's see. Let us see what we have here. Let us take a closer look. But how nice did you see this? Well, I'm going to tell it directly to go to our computer. I don't like having this part here. Apply, accept, close. And now we have it. Yes. Hey, but you have this in dark mode, right, Victor? It looks good. And to make it fit all the little windows, like the notification center and everything we did, don't you think it could look better? Of course it can look better, right? So you just go here. I'm going to right click here, startup settings. I'm going to delete this. And we're going to add some more folders internally from here. 
like in the color or personalization section in colors we're going to change the effect to completely dark close it did you see it how beautiful more textured now right it looks better now guys I hope you like this desktop makeover and the best part is that we're doing it under version 24h2 follow these tips since obviously the Windows 11 24h2 platform is still in development and we just launched it a few days after the 1st of October this year so if you don't modify or the graphical interface modifiers they are not compatible with the version you could really corrupt the system however these tips will help you make your desktop not so boring I hope you liked it Recommend us to a friend who enjoys desktop customization. I'm your friend Victor Sanchez. And remember, learn and share knowledge. See you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, oh. This, but how beautiful.